what's up you too so today I'm unpacking some goodies decided that uh, I wanted to do away with my suck it dust boot and try this new pwn CNC pwn it pwn it I'm not even sure how to pronounce it but it's a uh, this guy so um, I actually bought several things from them I got the dust boots I got the tramming arm some fences some push clamps what else I think that might be it oh and I got a, a, a clamp a hose clamp racket yeah so this is for my X card and it's specifically for my X card with the upgraded CNC for new game. So let's go ahead and get this unpacked. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and lay them out and try to figure out what I'm supposed to do. It looks like according to this, I'm supposed to go to this website to do the install. So let's see. So, let's look at everything. Man, that's a lot of stuff. I'm excited about these. I'm really excited about that. My machine needs to be trammed, and it was only five bucks, so it was worth buying. Uh, those, this. These are aluminum brackets, some sort. And these are my fences. Um, I didn't necessarily need these, but I figured why not? Plus I like supporting small businesses, so I figured I'd buy them. Because um, as you can see, I've got this. Alright, so time to figure out how to put it all together. Alright, first things first is I need to take off the old system. basically it for that one. Important thing here is not to over tighten or this acrylic will crack. It is plastic after all. Alright, so that's the first part of the assembly. Um, pretty straightforward. Seems pretty solid. I'm liking it so far. The next part is uh, installing the brackets.
All right, well, um, that concludes basically the installation of the Pwn dust boot. A um, couple things that I wanted to touch on that I think are important for people who are looking at this dust boot. This one is for the X-Carve. I know I've seen a lot of people with the um, Shipoko use this one, and it might be a little easier to install. On this particular one, the insulation brackets are not the easiest to install. In fact, compared to the Sucket dust boot, the Sucket dust boot was really easy to install. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not a good dust boot. Um, it is just a little bit, it's built better. I think the materials for the Pwn is, um, is a better quality. Uh, the dust boot itself absolutely is better quality. And the brackets that I chose, I chose the aluminum ones, um, really nice. The biggest issue at this very moment for the X-Carve users um, is the lack of installation instructions from the company. However, they are actively fixing that right now. Uh, when I was going through the installation on this, which you saw took a couple days, I actually had to reach out to the owner uh, Daniel and ask him uh, a couple things because there weren't really any instructions with the box and I wasn't sure exactly which screws went where and uh, if I was doing it right because I didn't want to break it because this stuff is it is printed plastic really uh, but other than that uh, I am extremely happy with the build the quality the way it looks man it's awesome um, I did have to, I bought the adapter for the hose, the one and a half inch hose, and it was my mistake, but I ordered the wrong one, but I did improvise. I had a couple extra pieces of hose laying around that I just cut to make a fitting. So it fits my vacuum fine. Um, I guess the question is, does it work? Let's see.